Hi, I'm Philip J. Morris and I'm the director of Sessions by Ifeanyi Frederick. And hi, I'm Joseph Black and I'm playing Tunde. So Joseph, what drew you to coming on board the play? Ah, uh, the script for one. Um, it's one of those times, obviously, if I'm being honest, we were all locked down, right? So for a lot of us, it's been a long time since we've actually been able to do what we love, which is theatre. So you're, you're getting all these auditions coming through and you're like, okay, so I'm just doing auditions to try and get something. And then when you find one that you love, I was like, I need this play. <laughs> and no one else has taken this play. <laughs> so I was very excited to, um, to be in an audition room. And then after getting in there and meeting you and Ify, it was, um, yeah. I'm glad I'm here, let's put it that way. How about you actually? What was your experience when you first read the script? So when I first read the script, I think what drew me to the play is that I recognised Tunde. Mm. I was reading it thinking, I know, I know this guy. Like this is someone who represents my friends, who represents my brothers, who represents my uncle's cousins. Like it was a very familiar character and in terms of my own personal um, connection to like black male mental health, in terms of seeing a character that's actually trying to like find help really interested me and drew me to like, wanting to know more. I had so many questions for Ify after like reading the text because I was so invested and so like excited by the idea of um, a character being represented on stage that represents people like me and yourself. Mm. With Tunde, he's such a real character yeah, yeah. from what, I've, what I can tell. Yeah, yeah. He's not like the perfect, most likable person, but he's not someone who's just like as horrible either. He's gray. And I think, as all human beings are to a degree, we're not you know, yeah. straight one thing or another, are we? Like we're all flawed, do you know we're what I mean? Flawed. So like exactly. some of the thoughts that come to mind are thoughts that resonated with myself in terms of like sitting in front of a stranger mm. and kind of being unsure about them, like unpicking your life and feeling like an element of scrutiny. Oh, yeah. And so it's really like fascinating to see that ongoing battle throughout yeah. the play. Because when I first read the script, I was like, oh, how is, um, like, how is trust going to be gained? And what like effects and changes does this process have to Tunde's life? And so mm. it's like really fascinating to see. Yeah, it also kind of it's almost like a mirror in some respects, right? Because yeah. you're looking at someone who you don't necessarily know too well, and you put okay, they're thinking that about me. That's what it is. It's, yeah, it's a lot of projection. A lot. Of proje it's, it's hard to like actually talk about your feelings. Yeah. Like in any circumstance, yeah. Then someone you've met for the first time, he's like, great. We have eight weeks, six to eight weeks to you know. Try and uh, try and deal with some of like the deeper root issues that you're going through. That's right. hard. Yeah. It's also being able to allow that to happen because if you're going to go in through all your luggage and unpack, you have to show all of those things that are very much personal and private to you, and allowing someone else to help you unpack that. I really like that analogy actually yeah. because in in unpacking there are the big and small things, but the small things are still important. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That are like stored away. So I really yeah I really like that analogy. Because that's what happens in this play. Like there's things that are sort of under the radar mm. or in the bag that just slowly starts to reveal itself and get pulled up. So what's been a really like fascinating process in directing this piece and working on a one-man show is the energy that's required to carry the show. Right. So you would know from like loads of notes, there have been loads of things of us kind of focusing on the like the shifts of energy and especially because in moments of the play. Tunde becomes other characters mm -hmm. and it's very much about like what those those people in Tunde's lives mean to him and how their opinions affect him and so like from a mental health perspective we all kind of gather our own ideas of what people feel about us or think of us and so it's been really it's been such a nice challenge to like channel you know the the, the people that are in Tunde's lives and the way that he sees it so mm -hmm. It's going to be really interesting for the audience to kind of pick up his uh, the expectations, I guess, and the weight that Tunde is feeling from those in his in his life.